Hi everyone, today's evening headlines. Honors on learn clergies to come up with permissible liquor use. Fire destroys houses granaries in Naga, Myanmar village. No fresh incident in Manipur district, night curfew to continue. No oil extraction until MOU honored and implemented by Lota Hoho. India blocks 14 mobile apps used by terrorists to receive texts from Pakistan. News in details. Owners on learn clergies to come up with permissible liquor use. Principal of Jaffu Christian College Kigwama Vesakono Hibo opined that the responsibility of learned clergies is to come up with a clear-cut picture of liquor and wine usage as per biblically permissible level. Recounting her childhood days, she said that her mother would serve her zoku frequently and unadulterately zoku to others. The unadulterated zutu perpetually contains about plus or minus 5% alcohol content. When I reminisce about my childhood days and walk down memory lane, I feel no guilt for taking the food beverage. In fact, I feel that the religious intellectuals should start conversation on the, on the temperance movement, especially of the early missionaries and Christians in Nagaland, she suggested. Fire destroys houses and granaries in Naga, Myanmar village. In a delayed report, a devastating fire engulfed Longchang village under Namyung township in Naga self-administered zone, Myanmar resulting in the destruction of 37 houses and 6 granaries on April 11. Additionally, 8 houses had to be dismantled to prevent them from being consumed by the raging flame. President of Eastern Naga Students Association Myanmar, Atimnyu Mikuru told the news agency that Longchum village is home to approximately 87 families, out of which 45 families were rendered homeless by the fire. Further, he stated that no relief materials have reached the village from either Nagaland or Myanmar. However, the Global Naga Forum is currently coordinating the collection of relief materials and will be sent to the village once everything has been gathered. No fresh incident in Manipur district night curfew to continue. No fresh incidents of violence took place on Sunday in southern Manipur, Churachanpur district, which witnessed a series of violence including arsoning and vandalization of government properties since Thursday night. A senior police official said that the indefinite night curfew which was imposed by the district administration in the Churachanpur district from 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. from Saturday would continue until the further order. He said that additional security forces sent from other parts of the state were withdrawn since Saturday night and normal activities were witnessed on Sunday. No oil extraction until MOU honored and implemented by Lota Hoho. The Lota Hoho on Sunday reiterated that until the Memorandum of Understanding signed between the Nagaland government and Lota Hoho on November 20, 2018 is honored and implemented, the Lota Hoho will not allow exploration or extraction of petroleum or natural gas within their jurisdiction. The Hoho in a press communique stated that the MOU was signed for amendment of the Nagaland Petroleum and Natural Gas Regulation and Rules 2012, following which the LH withdrew its public interest litigation. After the MOU was signed, the Guwahati High Court Koima bench filed a Suomoto PIL to bring the matter to a logical conclusion by Lota Hoho said. India blocks 14 mobile apps used by terrorists to receive texts from Pakistan. The central government has blocked 14 mobile messenger applications, after which it was found that the apps were being used by terror groups in Jammu and Kashmir. It is reported that terrorists used this mobile messenger app to spread the message and receive messages from Pakistan. The step was taken on the recommendation of Defense Forces, Security, Intelligence and Investigation Agencies. Multiple agencies found that these apps were being used by terrorists in Kashmir to communicate with their supporters and on-ground workers. Further, these apps did not have representatives in India. These apps have been blocked under Section 69A of the Information Technology Act 2000. That's all for now. To get the status, don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.